that last interviewer, you should see him. He had to carry him out. Okay. <laughs> You better be good with your questions, man. I'm from a um, German mutant school, and it's very nice to meet um, you, of course, Magneto and Xavier. It's a foreign exchange program. Yeah, and it's very good to see you both <laughs> happily in, in one room. What, what's happening right now in the X-Men world? Annihilation is, <laughs> and his alcoholism is uh, threatening, uh, Human, threatening humanity. <laughs> humanity and mutanity are, are all in danger. They have been dealing with uh, the Sentinels, which are programmed to kill them, um, that uh, have essentially made the world virtually post-apocalyptic, and every day is about survival. There's been a lot of devastation and death and horror. And something in the past has to be fixed in order to avert, basically, a massive apocalypse that affects even even humankind. Oh, in, in the future. In course. the future, in the future. In the Zukunft. Every mutant out there is saying that you are the bad guy. Yeah. Uh, You've been. That's. Those are such. Terrible rumors. Yeah, how could uh, the sexiest vegetarian celebrity mm. alive mm. be a bad guy? I know, it's just ridiculous. I'm trying to save the world. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what are your I create I, I enormous robots to cool, destroy everything that's that's uh, mutant. But I'm trying to save the world from these crazy, hideous creatures that can turn into storms and have claws. You know. Okay. Scary stuff, yeah. Uh, what's happened essentially is the last time we saw Kitty till now, her power has evolved. So not only can she still phase through walls and, and objects and et cetera, she has the ability to send someone's consciousness back in time. And the person they send back in time is Logan Wolverine to hopefully fix some things and change some <laughs> things to get them out of the current situation that they're in. Your superpowers are right now maybe yes, not, no, not no. working. Yes, no, no, exactly. I'm, a, I'm healing a little slower healing than my slower character. Than that. How often did you have to read the script? Because you are the only <laughs> character who goes like back yeah. and forth. Yeah. Um, so how many times? I don't know if you know this, but most actors don't read. The, well, we read the scripts. It's okay. like blah 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 blah. Oh my line, my line. Blah 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 blah. blah. Oh my line, my line. So when okay. you say reading the script, I'm only interested in what I'm saying. Okay. So yeah. Brian Singer told you. So you're who's, here who's right now. Brian, what? Oh, the director. No, you don't worry about the director. It's okay. just my line, my line. I want to say it like this. I'm done now. I'm going back to my trailer. Ah, that's, that's how, how it works. works okay, yeah. I yeah. picture that, of course. How hard is it to do a movie about time traveling? Because you know, because, because we don't actually time travel. Yes, that's so why. it's actually not that challenging. Ah, okay, okay, ah, okay. I have to write it down. Sorry, Ian McKellen. Hello, it's an honor to meet you. Thank you. Why are X Men movies different to other superhero movies? Many superhero movies are not about very much. They're about um, wimps who turn into superheroes and. Uh, This uh, X-Men is about something more important, something that the audience can relate to, I think. It's about what do you do if society treats you uh, as your difference, as being uh, suspicious and something that they don't really like. Because there are a group of individuals with special powers who are a minority group uh, and towards whom there is a feeling of fear, of repulsion, uh, of danger. Well, any gay person can relate to that, any probably black person in certain areas of the country. A young Jew would, would know mm -hmm. what that felt like. How is it to have like the old uh, guys, or like the slight, slightly older... Uh, um, Careful now. <laughs> um, Careful now. Discrimination. Savior and... Um, an aging population. Did you, know, did you like uh, make fun all the time, like, you shall not pass, or... Uh, Engage all the time on the set. I do. Or, or I, listen, I've, I've I've been doing the engage for a long time. Make a trail number one. Not on, not to their faces or anything like that. Um, just behind their backs. Just behind their backs. Uh, I've been a massive fan of, of, of both those guys, but Patrick particularly because I'm I'm a bit of a trekkie. I grew up watching Star Trek, the original series, but then when the Next Generation came out and he played Jean Luc Picard, such a brilliant like stoic captain in the Starship Enterprise. I watched him for seven years, man. One of the most interesting question is, would Xavier watch Star Trek? <laughs> I think it's very unlikely. 
I have to make a compliment. Uh, yesterday I saw the movie, and the first uh, scene we see is when you go back in the bedroom with the girl, and every boy was like, oh yeah, Wolverine, who? <laughs> and then you stand up, Yep. And then are right. at the window naked, <laughs> and like the girls like ooh, ooh, and the boys are like. <laughs> so it's not a sexual thing, but as a mutant from mutant to mutant, from yes. man to man, you have a great buttocks. <clears throat> All great right, well, thank you, so, um, thanks, Daniel. <clears throat> like I think I know what you say. mean. Thank you. <clears throat> I noticed your shirt. Y yeah, yeah. It's, uh, he's called Wolverine. Is he a f friend of yours? He yeah. Yeah. He's a friend of mine. Is he yeah. selling those t-shirts now? Yes. He needs a little extra money. The rumor is out that he won't do Wolverine for a long time. Oh. And uh, actually I've heard that a guy who's his name, Peter Dinklage, is going to be the next Wolverine. Really? Yeah. Trask sort of becomes Wolverine. Yes. Interesting. In, That's in a the, strange spin-off. I guess I'd see that. In an alternative mm. uh, future. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I guess I have to become as disciplined as Hugh Jackman, which... I don't know if I can actually do that, but we'll see. What is the craziest thing you had to do while training? Really the craziest thing was diet-wise. I mean, we trained for two and a half hours a day, and by the way, we would all train together. Michael Fassbender, James McAvoy, Nick Holt, we would all train together. And of all of us, I'll tell you, give you the tip. You know who trains the hardest? Peter Dinklage? No, Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, in a terrific, he's in a terrific shape too. Yeah, no, he's just... He loves it, you know. I complain about it the whole time. I train hard, but I'm like, oh, you know, the older guy complaining. But the, the craziest thing is the diet, because before that scene, I don't drink water for like 36 like, hours to really, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I'll use any trick, trust me. Okay. I wish I wish they'd just do it with visual effects, but they won't, unfortunately. Is there something where you say, but I have to have my Marmite, or I want to have my... Uh... Peanut butter on toast. So That's you... my greatest, I don't know why, but that has become my treat. I've heard that you were there when uh, Hugh Jackman was cast as Wolverine. Mm -hmm. How was that? We had started the movie without a Logan, because the actor who was to have played it was uh, on another film, which was overrunning, and they wouldn't release him. So we were kind of shooting around Wolverine, and one day this pleasant, very pleasant, young Australian guy turned up and told us he was there to do a screen test for the role. And uh, we were hanging out by the craft service table, drinking coffee and eating things that were bad for us. And uh, when he went off to do his screen test, I think all of us hoped that this might be the guy that we would see again. And what do you think is the most annoying superpower you can think of? The most annoying? annoying most annoying superpower? Oh. Toad would be sort of annoying, having that tongue that just sort of lashes okay. out all the time. Um, and he's got sort of some sort of skin condition that I wouldn't be happy with. Okay. But given a menu of mutant powers, Toad would not be my, uh, my lobster bisque, you know what I mean? Well, I wouldn't like to be Professor X who can read everybody's mind. Can you imagine going into a room and, oh dear, immediately knowing what people thought about you? That would be dreadful. Or going down the street or on the, on the subway and knowing what everyone was thinking. No, I wouldn't want to have that gift, no. To have a lack of control of your colon. <laughs> that would be pretty bad. That would be pretty bad. Yeah. Or like you're just always making a really annoying noise, like <laughs> like just all the time. <laughs> like oh. it doesn't stop ever. Sticky man, sticky person. Sticky. You'd like be like, oh, you, you stick to everything. Oh, I would think probably picking your nose, I think. All the time? Yeah. That, that's a really it, ridiculous. It'd be not unattractive, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What kind of um, superhero name could it be then? Oh, I think nose picker would be... Pretty good. Actually, very good. What do they call them here in America? Buggers. <laughs> Bugger boy. Bugger boy. There you go. Remember, you heard it here first. <laughs> and would you like to have another name, not Magneto and not Xavier? Would you come up with another cooler name? Ed. Yeah. <laughs> Bob. Ed. And I. Ed. Um, Shall you not you all? Ed Bob. It's about James Mason. Bob. Handsome man, his he's, his mutant power is how incredibly handsome he is. I think he, that's not taken. Yeah, that's not taken. Handsome, handsome, man. Man. Not handsome man. He has no powers. He's just really handsome. Yeah. That's his his, yeah. his power, of course. He's a boring conversationalist. Obviously, um, it's not very interesting. 
but he's really handsome. That's his power. In our German mutant school, we play yes. a game. It's called Days of Future Past, which yes. is uh, <laughs> Wolvie, yes. uh, um, Xavier, a bit shifty, a bit slithery. Yeah, fish. That's games. fish for me. Fish. You're a fish. Yeah. And Eric. Right. Oh, cool. Um, do we say Xavier? Right. Xavier yeah. Magneto. Yeah, sure. No. Right. You say it. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> I say. It. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Wolvie, Xavier, Magneto. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Days, Days of Future, future Past. past. Oh, you you Ooh. you won! You won because <laughs> you didn't. I won? Yeah, because you Magneto. Xavier. Xavier. He beats me. Okay, beats, ready? Yeah. Xavier will be Magneto. <laughs> this is crazy. Days of future, future past. Oh, oh, okay, so that, okay, that okay. That again. Wow. Wow. Like, Days of future, future past. Ah. Wolverine's Days. Okay. Will be Xavier Magneto. So Who win? Oh, oh, you win. 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 You win. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. One for Germany. One, two, three. Ooh, you oh, you win. You go with Magneto. Yeah, oh, he course. wins. Actually, of course he I like win. He wins. Yeah. That's right. That's Magneto beats Wolfie. Yep. Days, Days of future, future past. Oh, this is a scissor. Yeah. Okay, oh, this right, is a blue. Three. Okay. It's a weird scissor. Three. Trask. Yeah. Trask wins. Yeah. Trask wins. Of course I do. Of course. Um, I forget that. Days of future past. Oh. So, you, you read my mind, maybe. Well, of course. <laughs> of course. We don't need to do it again. We got it right yeah, first we, time. We got days of future past. Yes. Oh, uh, it's, a, well, oh. We're, we're a, it's a draw. It's a draw. It's a draw. It's, well, that's it's very good for me. Thank that's you very much. It's fascinating. Was there a prize if, I, if I'd won? Well, you had to take me to the, to the X-Men or to the Brotherhood uh, of oh. Mutants. But now I don't know. If I should, which, which should I join, the Brotherhood of Mutants or the X-Men? Oh, they're more fun. <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, well, they have, they have better clothes. You should join with Professor Xavier, um, because that is the only way that the world can go forward, is through mutual understanding and working together and mutual respect. And I can see you're the kind of person who would embrace that. Of course. But Sir Ian McKellen said the Brotherhood has the cooler costumes. Is that right? Well, that was right until recently. But as you will already have seen, Charles Xavier ha wears black leather armor in this movie. In fact, it could well be the main reason for seeing the movie is to see me in that armor. I think I have now outcooled anything that the Brotherhood, I mean, they wear fancy cloaks and helmets. We don't need all that fairy stuff. In Germany, we have two super mutants. They're called Gronk. Gronk. And Zawasa. Zawasa. Could you imagine what powers they could have? Gronk. Gronk. Uh, can drink as much beer as he wants. Gronk and okay, and uh, what could Savatza do? Savatza can um, make a really good venison dinner. <laughs> of course. <Yeah. laughs> awesome. Because I'm an actor too, maybe, do you have an advice for young actors? Yes, be fearless. My advice to young actors and old is, is to go and see other people act and decide why you like what they're doing or why you don't. Why are they good? Why are they not so good? Uh, and if you go with a friend, as, as a, another young actor, you can you can learn an awful lot from uh, watching other people. Would you uh, have a message to all mutants out there? <sighs> Chill out, man. You know, hang tight. We're coming. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Cheer up. Love yourself. <laughs> You're awesome. You might feel different. You might feel isolated, but it's going to be okay. It gets better. Hi, mutants. Just um, stay out of my way. The last time we saw us, you were like a bit envious about the shirt. I was. So I got you, of course, <sighs> the shirt. Did you really? You're a good Added man. Two in L and XL. Really? Because I didn't. That know. is awesome. Thank so. you, mate. I who's it, who's one, this? What's that? Um, that is Never heard of that. Wolver, 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 that's that's my uh, mutant power name. You know, you know what the uh, the young guys all called me, Fastbender and James and Nick oh. Holt. They say, "Come on, full fair." I don't know. They had a kind full of fair? full fair. They were trying to do somehow a German. <laughs> Wasn't it from other days? Like Wolfgang. 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 Yes, full fair. Full fair. Full fair. <laughs> Come on, full fair. Why are you so angry, full fair? 